Hello. I had at some point an issue. Um, the files in this uh, folder, so they had the date modified, and it was all okay, all fine, but the the MP3s, MP3s didn't have any um, tag, any any album information. So I downloaded from the internet some. Uh, a software and that software automatically added the uh, thumbnail information but it also changed the timestamp so if I go here and go look to the modified this was the date in which I changed so after that I still added some uh, files and so on but most of the files had the same timestamp which mean that meant that uh, for all the images you hear all the uh, audio files you see in here um, I couldn't be able to sort by date so all the folders, all the files um, had the same date. I, I didn't know if I that, that song I used to like it a long time ago or recently and so on. So I had this issue. Now I had two folders. One is old and uh, in that folder all the files have different uh, timestamps but they don't have album art. And the new folder with album art but uh, poor timestamps. So I had the look on how to solve this. So using some software I managed to do the following result. I managed to have the new files with the old timestamps. So how did I do this? There is this software called uh, File Time Changer and this one is a bit silly because it only easily allows you to get the file time. So with this one I, I got the file time into a big list and with this one I set the, the timestamp used by the different the other uh, software. So there are multiple steps to solve this. The first one is to download the two software. Then uh, you should create two folders like I did, one with the original files and the the another one with the new files. So this was has all original file times and file stamps and this has uh, new ones. And then you should run a command prompt. You should Google it if you don't know how to run a command prompt. Basically, you hit Windows R on keyboard, Windows R. You type CMD. And now you're into command prompt. And now if I want to change the folder, I change it like this. Sorry. And if I want to enter into the old folder, I enter like this. Things like this. There is this command dir, which generally just lists the file. But if you add some parameters to it, it sorts the file. So as you see, right now they're sorted, but because just because the original folder was sorted, generally they're not sorted. So now they are sorted. And now if I add another parameter, uh, they will be. So now it occupies a lot of space. But if I add another parameter, now they're smaller. And if I output to a uh, text file, everything which was previously shown here now went into this uh, folder, this, this file. So if I go here, this is the result. So the first thing to do is get a list of all the files uh, in a text uh, file. If you look at the zip file, so in the document I write on my blog, there is a zip file and you will find on step, step one all the steps I talked to you earlier about. So now we're at step two. Okay, you have a text file like I showed you. You should just um, copy paste some of the information in. There. Okay, so uh, once the first step is complete, we went to second step. I, I made some changes to the procedure. So um, now you have a text file. You should put it into Excel. So now we have an Excel file with just a list of files. And uh, on the second step, I added the. Uh, at the first column, the first command you need to run, and in the third column, uh, it will output the the result of this command into a text file. So this is how it looks when you output it to a notepad. What you should do now is uh, two things. So copy this, search and replace this with space. But now you see it, it doesn't look very well. You see this? So you should just search and replace again to remove that space. And again here to remove the other space. It is actually simpler if you just replace uh, 
tabs with not with nothing yeah so right now it's even simpler but anyhow there's more than one solution even if you replace tabs with spaces you can now replace just this no you cannot because in here it the spacing is different so first you need to replace if you replace it with spaces first you need to replace it like this and then you need to replace it like this okay now you got something like this which you just need to run. To me it will give an error, but uh, if you will run it, it will likely... So this is the command. It tries to put... Uh, to just output the uh, file date. This is the file, this is the output. I will break, control break on the keyboard, but generally it should run OK. So if I just enter this folder, This is something like you are getting in the second step. Yeah. Um, generally, it should not give an error, but it from my time to time it might give an error. So this file doesn't exist. Okay. But generally, it doesn't give errors. Okay. Now on step three, you have this text file. You put it again to Excel. You add two columns. I need this for just to know exactly, so to have an idea from one A to Z, where are we? And this one for sorting, I need two indexes. One is index of everything, and another one just a counter so that I can sort by uh, rows. So in here I sort it by rows, and then I remove the unnecessary rows. So you see here one, lots of, these are un unnecessary data. So in this file I just Get the necessary data, and now I sorted by this column. So now it's file name, time, file name, time, file name, time. But I don't like the way the time was, so I changed this date format. I added another index. Okay, so one, two. I sorted again by uh, column. I could have done this in a previous step, but uh, it's okay. So right now the date is in here, every date is in here. I can still restore the original file, the original order, because I have this index columns. So now I have all the dates in here. All I need to do is control one and I will change the date format to a new one. So in here I change the date format, I use this pattern. It's the exact pattern I need to run the file. So now I have sorted by reverse order. So now it's file date file uh, no date file date file because uh, the the software needs first the date and then the file name. I put this to Word, copy paste. In Word, I search and replace. Let let me show you. So I search and replace zero zero ds. Uh, no, um, I don't know that symbol. Sorry. With just. Um, space I think something like this no actually with quotes uh, space quotes okay and now I replace at the end space like this with uh, like this no spacing and just uh, quotes so now I can take this to Excel very easily so this is the thing which I've done in the, this step the second step and now I put this to Excel I add another command I put this to notepad but now there are tabs you see these, these are tabs so I search and replace let, let me show you so I copy search and replace this with space and now because there are multiple spaces I search two times and now it's okay so I just need to run this the file names are from the original folder. I added at some point zeros because that software only got uh, date plus hour, but it's it's more than enough for what I need. More, I don't need more much too precise for what I need. So now I have this like this, and the final folder, the file, the final file looks like this. I just need to run it in the new folder. When I run this. 
it will get, these are the dates from the original file, these are new dates. That's it. Good luck.